Hello guys, welcome back to the Debug Arena. In today's video, I will show how we can upload image from our ReactJS application to Firebase. From Firebase, we will get the URL of the uploaded images and then we will store that URL inside our MongoDB database. After that, I will fetch all the uploaded images from MongoDB and will show it inside our ReactJS application. So first, let me give you the demo of the application. So here you can see I have got the option to select the image. Before that, I will open the console. Okay, I will clear the console. Now I will click on this to select the image. I will select this image and I will click on the open. So here you can see this uploading button was disabled because this image was uploading to Firebase. Once it is uploaded, I have got the URL. Here I am getting the preview of the image. Now if I click on this upload image, this image will be uploaded to MongoDB. I have got the message image uploaded. When I will click on this OK, you can see my this function is running and my image is uploaded to MongoDB. Like even if I refresh this, I will get all the three images. So these are the things we are going to cover in today's video. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, this is the output of my current application. Now the first thing is that we will have to integrate Firebase in our ReactJS application. For that, I will go to Google and search for Firebase console. Click on the first link. Now I will click on this go to console. After that, I will click on this add new project. Here I will give the project name which is Firebase image. I will click on this continue. I will disable this and I will click on this create project. Let's wait for it to finish and it is done. Now I will click on this continue here as we are building ReactJS application. So I will click on this web part and here also we will have to give our application name. So I will write here Firebase image. Now click on this register and here you can see the Firebase SDK has been generated. Now the first thing is that you will have to go to your ReactJS project and run this command npm install Firebase. I have already done this. So after that you will have to copy this code. So I will copy this. This is the configuration part. Then I will go to my Firebase project. This is my Firebase UI as we are going to integrate MongoDB also. So there will be backend also. Okay. Now I will come inside SRC and I will create one new folder. Sorry, not folder file, which is firebase.js. At firebase.js, I will paste my configuration. Okay, I will save this. Again, I will go to Firebase console. Here, I will click on this continue to console. Now, Firebase provide you all this much of services. I have already covered this authentication and this cloud fire storage, which is used to do login and the Google sign in. If you want to learn that, then you can go and check out the video. The link will be in description. But for now, to upload the image, we will use the Firebase services known as storage. Let me just find that. Okay, I will click on this all product and here I will go to storage. Now click on this get started. We will select this start in test mode. Then we have to select this next. I will keep this as default. Now I will click on this done. Okay, it is done. Currently there is nothing here because we haven't uploaded any image. The first thing which we have to do is to go to rules. Now we have to come here and we will just remove this request.time and I will write here request.auth is not equal to none. That's it. This is the condition which we have to modify. Now I will click on this publish. The Firebase integration part is done. Now we can go to code. Here the first thing which I will do is to export this app. So I will write export default app. So here what we are doing. We are just initializing our Firebase inside this app variable and from this app variable we can use all the services provided by Firebase throughout our ReactJS application. Now I will save this. I will go to app.js. In app.js currently I am having this text only. So let's create the input and a button to upload the image. Okay, it is done. Now let's create a function which will be called to select the images from our computer. So I will write here on change and on change I will call one function handle image change. Let's create this function. So I will come here and I will write function handle image change and inside this I will accept E. From E I can get the image path values and etc. So I will just console.log here e dot target dot files. Inside the files I want the first data only. So I will write 0 here. I will save this. Let's go to the application. We'll open the console. Let's choose one file. Click on the open and here you can see I am getting the details of the images like image name, image size and the image type. Okay. Now let's go to the code. Now let's write the function to upload this image to the firebase and get the URL. So first thing which I will do is to create a variable here which will be const image and I will assign this e.target.files here. That I will write a condition here that if my image is true that means I have selected one image then only I will upload it to Firebase. Before that I will come here and let's create one state. 
which will be uploading. I will write here uploading, comma, set uploading. This state we will use to track the loading. So now what I will do, I will come here and I will write a condition here that if uploading is true, that means we are uploading the image. We can just simply write here loading. Otherwise, it will show upload image. In the same way, inside the button, I will write disable and I will set it to uploading. So if uploading is true, this upload image button will be disabled. Otherwise, it will be enabled. Okay. So if my image is true, that means I have selected some image. The first thing which I will do is to set uploading to true. That means we are uploading the image to the Firebase. So we want this button to be hidden. Okay. After this, I will create a variable here name as storage. I will write here get storage and this get storage will be imported from Firebase. And inside this get storage, I will pass this app. We are getting from this Firebase file. This is the configuration file. Okay. Here we are telling the Firebase that we want to use your storage. And this is our configuration or this is our identity. Okay. So we have initialized the storage here. Now let's define the path or the folder in which we want to upload the image. So I will create one another variable here. Name as storage ref. Inside this storage ref, I will write here ref. It should also be imported from Firebase storage. Make sure you import them from the right place. Inside this ref, I will first pass the storage, which is the service which we are going to use. After this, we will pass the folder name, which will be images in my case. And after this, I will pass here image dot name. Image is this variable and inside this, you can see in console, I'm getting this name. So I will just use this name here inside the Firebase. Okay. So this is also done. Now, the next thing is that we have to upload this image to this storage. Now I will write here await. First, let make this function async because this process can take some time. Okay. After the await, we are not going to upload the image directly to the Firebase. So before uploading the image, we have to convert them into the bytes. For that, I will write here upload bytes. It should also be imported from Firebase storage. And in this, I will pass my storage ref, which is the location of my storage and my image detail, which is my image. So in this, all my image detail is stored. Okay. This is also done. After this, I will create one variable, which is download URL. In this, I will write await and I will write get download URL. This is also function provided by Firebase storage to get the URL of particular image. And here I can pass the storage ref. Okay. After that, I will just console.log download URL. Now here we will get the URL of the image. But we also have to do the preview of the image. So for that, I will create another state here, which will be image URL comma set image URL. Okay, I will come here and I will write set image URL and I will pass download URL here. Okay, done. Also, let me just create a try and catch block here and inside try block, I will paste all of these things. Okay. Inside this catch block, I will just console.log whatever error we will get in between this process. And if everything is done, I will just write finally here so that finally will run at least once. And here I will just set uploading and I will set it to false. Okay, this is done. Before going to check the output, I will go down and let's create the UI to show the image preview. So I will write a condition here, which will be image URL. If this image URL is true, then only I will show this image. I will write here image inside SRC. I will directly pass this image URL and here I will style this. Okay, it is done. I will save this. Let's check the output. Let's select the image. I will choose this. Click on open and here you can see it has been disabled. And here, okay, here I'm getting Firebase storage. User does not have permission to access images less download dot jpg. Let's check the Firebase rules. Here I will remove everything. And here I will just paste new rule here. And here I've just modified this allow read and write. Now I'll press on this publish. I will go to my react app. Let's select the image. Here I'm selecting this download one. Click on the open. And here you can see it has been disabled. I'm getting uploading. The image is uploaded here. I'm getting the preview and here I have got the image URL. Now let me just copy this URL and paste it here. And you can see the image is loading. Yeah, correct. Also, if I go here and go to files here, we should able to see this images folder and inside this, there should be one image. Okay. Everything is fine. Now our only job remaining is to store this image to MongoDB and then patch it back. To achieve this, let's go to our backend code. This is my Node.js code and here I have imported express and initialize it. Here I have imported mongoose and here I have defined express.json 
so that I can pass and get the JSON format data. And here I have used Core so that I can interact with ReactJS application. Here, this is my MongoDB URL, and here. This is the code which will tell me whether my connection with MongoDB is successful or not. I hope you know all of these things. If not, then you can go and check out my previous videos. And at last, here I have imported my image schema. This is my image schema in that for now, I will only store this field, which is the image. If you want, you can store many fields here. And here inside app.js, I have imported that. So for now, to upload the image, let's create an API. So I will write here app.post. And my API name will be upload image. Now to store the image, we just require one thing, which is the image. And in this image, I will get the URL from request.body. Okay. After this, I will write here try and catch block. And inside try block, I will write await. And inside await, I can write images, which is my MongoDB schema. And I will use a function provided by MongoDB, which is create. And in this, we will create image. This image is referring to the image inside our schema and this image is referring to the variable which we will send from the front end. Okay. In this, I can pass this image. Okay. This is done. Now I will just write here response.send. In this, I will send two things. First one is status. If everything is fine, I will send status as okay. And if not, then here I will send status as error. This will be error. Okay, this is done. Now let's also create the API to get the images. So I will write here app.get because we want to get the data and its name will be get images. In this, I will create try and catch block. Inside try block, I will create a variable name as image. Inside this, I will write images, which is again my schema dot find. Find will try to find all the images present inside my schema. This should be await, otherwise, it will take time and it will return null value to us. Now, if this line is executed successfully, we will send response dot send. The first thing which will be status is OK. In the data, I will pass my image. Inside image, it will contain all the images. Otherwise, I will send here the error. OK, it is done. I will save this. Now, let's go to the front end and let's call both these two APIs. OK, you can see here, this is the function which is called when we are selecting the image from this input box. Now, we have to create one function which will be called when we will click on this button and it will upload this image to the MongoDB. So, I will come here and I will write a, inside on click, I will call one function which will be upload image. Then, I will come here and let's create a function to upload the image. So, I will write here upload image. This should also be async. In this, I will have to call the API. So for that, I will create one variable which will be response. And in response, I will write here await. And here I will write fetch. And in this, I can pass my URL. Okay, this is my URL HTTP localhost 5000. And upload image is my API name. Now in this, I will pass method and headers. So here you can see I have mentioned method as post and the header will be application JSON. After this, we can pass the body. So I will write here body. And it will be json.stringify. Inside the stringify, what we have to send? We have to send image. Okay. And this image will contain the value of the image URL. Okay. It is done. Now here I will come and I will add one condition that if response is okay, that I am getting some response. First thing which I will do is create a variable data and I will write here await and I can assign response.json to this so that I will get all my data coming from the API. After this, I will just console.log this data. Also here, I will write another condition that if data dot status is equal equals to OK, that means my data has been saved successfully to MongoDB. I will just alert image uploaded else and just alert here. OK, it is done. Let's go to the application. Here, I will click on this upload image and you can see I've got message image uploaded. Here also, I'm getting status as OK. Now let's go to the MongoDB. I will just refresh this. The collection name you can see inside my Node.js. My collection name is image schema. So I will go to my MongoDB and I will check for image schema, which is here, and it should contain one image. You can see it is containing only one image. So it is uploading. Now let's try to retrieve the data. For that, I will come here and I will write another function, which will be a sync function get image. I will copy these things. I will come here, I will paste that. 
first thing is my API name will be changed to get image okay let me just check the API name and you can see here it is get images okay so I will write a get images method will be get and I will just remove the body now I can copy the same condition from here so I will copy this I will come here I will paste this and in this I will just remove this if condition okay I will save this then I will come here and let's call the use effect so inside use effect I will call that function so here I am going to call get image here I can just write empty array We'll save this let's go to the application in console I should get the data and you can see here I'm getting the data now let's try to upload one more image so I'm here I will select this download click on open it is uploading to the firebase and we are we have got the URL I will click on this upload image it is okay and if I refresh this now okay it is not real time as of now here I'm getting two data okay so this is working great now I'll come here to make this real time once image is uploaded okay so we have got the image uploaded at the same time I will again call this get image function so that image will be retrieved at the real time so this is also done now I will go up and let's create the state to store the images I will write here images comma set images to state and it will be set to null okay I will go down and inside this get image where I am getting all the images I will write here set images and images are present inside data dot data like inside the console you can see that this is data and inside this data there is another data which is containing the email not email image okay so this is also done now I will save this then I will go below and here I will just add a condition here that if my images is equal equal to null that is my data is not retrieved yet then I will do nothing otherwise I will just write here images dot map and inside map I will get the data and here I can just write image inside the image I can pass src and src will be my data dot image okay and here I can set some styling you can style the page according to your own requirements okay I will save this let's go and check the output okay image is coming here but at least we are retrieving the image let me just add a break here save this and come here and you can see I'm getting the retrieved image let's do again I will come here I will choose this file react plus firebase if you want to learn about authentication then you can go and check out my previous react firebase video and here you can see when I'm clicking on this upload image I'm getting image uploaded and I will click on ok and here you can see this image is uploaded but this preview is still there so to tackle that I will come here and once my image is uploaded and here I am calling get image here I will just write image URL to none I will save this I think everything is done now I will come here I will just choose another file and this time the file will be this Goku and one piece and you can see it is uploading the preview is replaced I will click on this upload image now when I click on OK, you can see the preview has gone, but the image is coming here. Now, even if I refresh, you can see the image is there. All the four images are there. So this is how you can upload images from React.js to Firebase and then store that URL to your MongoDB. This is one of the most efficient way to upload the images because it will take a less storage of your database to store the files. That's it for the video. I hope you have understood each and everything. Still, if you have any doubt, then please let me know in comments. Also, make sure to check out my previous Firebase videos. Thank you.